This video will be about atom and its particles. Atom is commonly defined as the basic unit of matter. This means that all things around us, the food that we eat, the water that we drink, the air that we breathe, the things that we use, and even our souls as human beings are all made up of atoms. Atom is the smallest part of an element that has all the properties of that element. If I have a bar of gold and take one atom from that bar and compare them, they would have the same properties. As a basic unit of matter, we thought that atom is indivisible, but we now know that atom is not indivisible, but rather composed of particles. Basically, atom is composed of three particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are located at the center of the atom called nucleus, and electrons are located outside the nucleus revolving around it in specific orbitals. Electron, with a symbol E negative, is a negatively charged particle. It has a negative one charge. It is the smallest of all the three particles. It is also the lightest, having a rest mass of 9.11 times 10 to the negative 28 grams. I cannot begin to imagine how light it is. But in comparison to proton and neutron, it is approximately 1,836 times lighter. The atomic mass unit of electron is 0 0.00549. It is very light that electrons do not contribute significantly to the mass of an atom. Proton, with the symbol P positive, is the positively charged particle. It carries a plus one charge. In a neutral atom, the number of electrons equal the number of protons effectively cancelling the charges between them. Proton is much larger and heavier than the electron. Just to emphasize, it is 1,836 times heavier than that of the electron. And just to give us an exact value, its mass is equivalent to 1.6727 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. But I know that it is hard to put our heads around that weight. The atomic mass unit of proton is 1.007316, thus it contributes one unit to atomic mass. The last particle is the neutron, with the symbol N. Neutron does not have any charge and therefore carries zero charge. It is slightly bigger and heavier than the proton. It has a mass of 1.6750, times 10 to the negative 24 grams and carries an atomic mass unit of 1.008701. Thus, similar to proton, it carries or contributes one unit to atomic mass. Protons and neutrons are collectively called nucleons because they reside in the nucleus. Because both particles contribute one unit to the atomic mass, and remember that electron's mass is so little that it is almost negligible, the mass of an atom is virtually concentrated in the nucleus. The nucleus is also positively charged because of the presence of the positively charged proton. Let us again review what we have already learned about an atom. Atom is composed of three subatomic particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electrons reside outside the nucleus, revolving around it in specific orbitals, while protons and neutrons are at the center of the atom called nucleus. The electron is negatively charged, the proton is positively charged, while the neutron is neutral. When it comes to size, the electron is the smallest. Both the proton and neutron are large particles, but neutron is slightly larger than the proton. 
electron, because of its mass, carries an equivalent of zero unit of atomic mass, while proton and neutron both carries one unit of atomic mass. Because of this, the atomic mass of an atom is concentrated on its nucleus. Another important fact about atom that I would like you to remember is the size of the atom and its particles and the spaces between them. It is very small that even our most powerful microscope can only see an array of atom, but not the particles that comprise it. But if you have a newly sharpened pencil and create a dot out of its pointed tip, and just imagine that that tip is the nucleus of the atom and you can now see it, the electrons that revolve around that nucleus will have a span as big as the football field. In that case, you have to know that the particles are even smaller and that there are a lot of spaces between particles of an atom and even between atom itself. With the improvement of technology and the many brilliant scientists who continue to be fascinated with atom, new discoveries gives us a glimpse to the vast world of still unknown about an atom. We now know that protons and neutrons are no longer fundamental or elementary particles. They are made up of even smaller particles called quarks. At the same time, we are bombarded with terminologies such as quarks and leptons, mesons and baryons, permions and bosons, gluons and protons, matter and antimatter, and many more. I know that you are anxious to know more about these particles, but this will be dealt with in another video. Why do we have to learn and understand atom? In radiologic sciences, the energy that we use to create most of the medical images that we produce is X-ray. It is created when a fast-moving electron bombards a hard target. The X-ray beam that is created will interact with the human body. Both interactions at the target and the human body happen at the atomic level. Understanding atom and the spaces between them and spaces between particles and their characteristics is therefore fundamental in understanding how the interaction happened and the subsequent events that happen after the interaction. Likewise, it is also fundamental in understanding radioactive decay, which is important in nuclear medicine and in brachytherapy. I hope this helped you in understanding Atom and please watch my other videos.